Welcome to another edition of The Big Picture. I'm Jared Johnson, and uh, in this feature, it's a, it's a weekly feature, or at least every week in which Texas Tech has a football game, I highlight head coach Matt Wells' you know, like the top takeaways from his press conference of game week. And this week, it's the Big 12 opener. It's a big week. It's Texas week. The number eight Longhorns come to Lubbock this week, uh, 2.30 kickoff Central Time. Uh, the game will be nationally televised on Fox at the Jones so you know just a, a huge game every year no matter what um, and you know Coach Wells obviously you know I, I think first off I want to say my, my my main takeaway or my first takeaway from Coach Wells was that he had kind of the game face on right I mean he was really cool he answered all the questions but I think he was kind of short as one might expect any football coach to be going into the uh, conference opener you know the Big 12 opener I think it's funny you always see in my time covering uh, specifically all sports, but specifically football, where it's like spring. I mean, they're open. They're talking about scheme. They're talking about like, the entire roster they're willing to talk about. Then you get in like kind of fall camp. You start talking to some of the coaches, and specifically head coaches, and they're a little more reserved, especially like with injury talk and stuff like that. And by the time the season comes around and now Big 12 play, it's like, you know, I mean, Coach Speak 101, and honestly, I would be the same way. But there were some things that Coach Wells said that I thought were big takeaways, and I want to share those with you. One being, and I asked Coach, you know, I, I didn't, of course, didn't ask anybody specifically, but just is the team overall, uh, are there more players available this week than there were for the opener? Is it better? Uh, and he, uh, you know, he didn't go into numbers, uh, but he did say he, he admitted, yes, it was better. It, or the, as of Monday, the numbers were better. More players were available than they were in the, the week of the opener. So, I mean, that's a big deal. And then we have since found out that as of Monday evening anyways, because this could totally change by kickoff on Saturday, but as of Monday evening, uh, there had been 75 players who had tested positive for COVID-19 and all had recovered, all right? So you're talking about most of the teams, not all the team, one way or the other, whether it be contact tracing or whatever, have missed significant time of practice. Um, and it appears that uh, for the first time in a long time, they had the bulk of the team full practice uh, and almost, if not all, most of the players available. That leads me to my next big takeaway, which was that, you know, Tech was off last week in terms of they didn't play a game last Saturday. Now, a lot of times in bye weeks, especially, I mean, they'll be later in the season, the team's tired, they're beat up, what have you, you know, coaches will elect to kind of take it easy, give them some time off. That did not happen with Texas Tech last week. Um, both Coach Wells and Eli Howard in the same press conference after Coach Wells mentioned how physical the practice was, much more than a usual uh, in-season you know, week of practice, which makes a lot of sense, right? Because they didn't get a chance to go full speed, certainly not with the full full uh, complement of their players, a full roster, really almost at all in fall camp. So, uh, or in spring almost too. So they really needed that, you know? Um, and I think what makes that even better is that Coach Wells said that they made it through the week healthy, meaning no one, there wasn't a, a you know, an injury, a big injury uh, to the team. So, I mean... You put the, the, these first two main takeaways, all the players have recovered who have tested positive, which means pretty much everyone is available, and they were able to have a, a really physical week of practice, with, which Coach Wells also said that uh, they were able to work on a lot of conditioning. So they hit, they had them hit, and they had them run, you know, after that, that poor performance. If you read between the lines, after that poor performance in the opener, I mean, they ran them and they made them hit, so, and, and nobody got hurt. All those, I mean, that's really good news. It's a really good base to start from. My final takeaway or main takeaway of the big picture of Coach Wells' you know, game week press conference on Monday was how important it is it's going to be for this offensive line to step up and raise this level of play. He thought Ethan Card, who made his first start for Texas Tech, a left tackle, um, and Josh Berger, both of them, and the whole offensive line, he said they played well overall in the opener, but that they're going to have to really raise their level of play because obviously the level of competition going from Houston Baptist's defensive front to Texas's defensive front, I mean, that's going to be a huge uptick in terms of talent um, and just the level of play there. So, 
And for me, I personally think that, you know, that's going to be one of my keys to the game is how do these young tackles, really the whole offensive line, but how are these young tackles going to hold up against Texas's pass rush? Are they going to be able to allow Alan Bowman to find his receivers to sit in the pocket and, you know, have good timing with his receivers, which they're continuing to work on? If they give Bowman the time he needs, if he is consistently accurate, he has some serious receivers, some serious talent at receiver to get the ball to. So it could get interesting, you know. And he could put some points up on the board against Texas, especially at home at the friendly confines of the Jones. So those are my main takeaways. I thought Wells was cordial. I think even in questions he wouldn't answer, he went out of his way to show respect to the reporters and um, had some interesting things to say despite it being, I mean, it's on now. It's Big 12 opener, number eight Texas coming to town. So, uh, you know, it's go time. And I, I, I can't wait to see the drama unfold on the field at the Jones on Saturday. But for now, I want to say thank you for watching, and until next time.